I'm Mike Lansman and welcome to another video tutorial. This Photoshop tutorial deals with a situation where one would like to use a glyph in Photoshop. A glyph can be defined as an extended character of a font, although it is always a character that is not accessible from your keyboard. We therefore have a glyphs panel. Photoshop itself does not have a glyphs panel where you could access these extended characters. However, Adobe InDesign and Adobe Illustrator do. So we will be making use of the Adobe InDesign glyphs panel to complete this exercise. Let's have a look how it works. We will head on over to InDesign and as the glyphs are located in a panel, we know that we access panels from the window menu. We head on over to Type and Tables and select Glyphs. The Glyphs panel opens up. You will notice that Minion Pro font is selected. However, many other installed fonts on your computer will have extended characters acting as Glyphs. We'll now scroll through the Glyphs panel and we will locate the extended character that we require in the example. For this particular example, we can use that E. All we would need to do now is to draw a text frame with the Type tool and double click on that E that we require. We simply highlight it and edit copy. We head on back to Photoshop. We highlight the character that we would like to exchange it with and we simply edit paste. We can do another example. We can head on back to InDesign and we can select the C that we require with an accent at the bottom. Double click on the accent, select it, edit copy back to Photoshop and edit paste. So this is in fact how we access extended characters or glyphs from within the whole Adobe Creative Cloud suite of programs. They all work beautifully well together. Popular glyphs can be found under a few different menus. We can look at Zaf Dingbats. They possess an incredible amount of really cool glyphs. We can look at webdings. They possess alternative glyphs and we also have wingdings. And they possess an alternate set of glyphs. I hope this tutorial has helped you and I hope you'll use it whenever there's an opportunity to insert a glyph in Photoshop. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out MikeLansman.com for three new ebooks that I have written relating to the latest features of Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign Creative Cloud 2014. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.